Hello, children. Hello, Hello sir. sir. How are you? Fine, Fine sir. Today we are discussing arthropoda. Arthropoda. Before that, our students are telling you classification of animal, starting from Porifera to last one. Okay, you start. You say bigger. Porifera, Cilentata, Planty helminthes, Nematoda, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinocardata, Protocardata, Cardata, Vertebrata. Vertebrata. Again, once again. Porifera, Cilentata. Porifera, next cilia data, next to plant health methods, nematoda, next to alida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, protocard data, card data, votive data. data. Okay, thank you, you go. So like that, they told you that what classification of animal. Great, excellent. And now I am telling you what arthropoda, arthropoda. So this is from chapter five. five. Diversity in living organisms. Diversity in living organisms. Chapter five. Page number sixty-four. Sixty-four. Page number sixty-four. And there you are seeing three diagrams. So first one is prawn that we eat. It is a fish. And next we see ah, it was, that that we we eat prawn we eat. Actually, it belongs to the phylum. It belongs to the arthropoda. Belong to arthropoda. And next, again we are seeing what another one cockroach. Cockroach. And next one scorpion. Scorpion. Three examples are there. All of you see. All look on the blackboard. This is cockroach. This is familiar animal, and it lives in our kitchen, dark room. And these are it is prawn. We eat prawn. And uh, this is scorpion. And it is having what poison here. So in the, the tail region, it is having what poison gland. When it uh, bite, when it uh, bite, it may cause what pain to our body. So this is scorpion. And these animals are called as arthropoda. Arthropoda. Why they are called arthropoda? Because they have what one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here you see one, two, three. Here you see legs. The legs are jointed. Legs are jointed. jointed. Legs are jointed. So that is the reason they are called as arthropoda. Arthropoda means they are having jointed legs. They are having what? Jointed legs. Arthropods having what? Jointed legs. Jointed legs. All insects. Grasshopper. It is also having what? Jointed legs. legs. So the animals which are having jointed legs, they are called arthropod. They are called arthropod. arthropod. And all these animals are having what? Jointed legs. Jointed legs. So we are seeing three diagrams. What are they? First one is say bigger. Cockroach. This one. Cockroach. This one. Cockroach. All of you say. This one. Cockroach. This one. Cockroach. This one. Cockroach. Okay. Now I am telling the characteristic features of these arthropoda. So first one. But they live in different uh, habitats. Some of them are living on land. And some of them are living in water, so like that in different. And some of them they fly in the air, Gra grasshoppers, and also you see dragonflies. Dragonflies they used to fly in the air, so they are they are flying up the pot. And some of them are living in the uh, uh, in soil and sand. Example scorpion and butterfly. So all these animals are called as arthropod. Arthropod example. Okay, and next they are bilaterally symmetrical. What is meant by bilateral symmetrical? Weak. 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 No, no. Equal half. Equal half symmetrical. Ah, okay. You please come and say. What is meant by bilateral symmetrical? We can cut into two equal half ah. and same design. Ah, two equal half shows same design. Two equal half shows same, same design. design. That is called bilateral okay. symmetrical. Good. Your name? Nasrullah. Good. And next, you see segmented. Segmented means what? Segmented means here you see this is one segment and this is another segment and this is another segment like that you see uh, the body is segmented. Here you see 
This is one segment. Another segment. Another. Like that, you see, segments are there. Here also segments are present. Here also segments are present. So, if at all the animal is having segment, those animals are called as segmented organism. Segmented animal. Segmented. This is called segmented. And next, and these animals they respire with the trachea. They perform trachea respiration. And uh, blood circulatory system is open type. So it is not having what blood vessels like that. And blood flows in the spaces. And uh, it is having what pulsatile organ through this pulsatile organ and blood is pumped to the spaces into the body spaces and it is not having what blood vessels and that is called as open type of circulatory system open type so blood is pushed into the spaces that is called open type of circulatory system okay that is open type of circulatory system. and I told you why they are called as because they are having what? Yeah, and examples are the serum is filled with fluid and its body cavity is filled with the blood and uh, their blood is white. They are having what? White bread, <coughs> but not red bread. They are having what? White bread. Suppose if you kill cockroach and you observe what? White bread, but not a red bread. Again, bread, serum is filled with bread. Again, you see uh, examples also, there are many examples you may give. So, you give some examples, pick up. Say uh, examples for other words. Come on, say. Frog. Frog. Butterfly. Butterfly. Cockroach. Cockroach. Uh, Housefly. Housefly. Spider. Spider. All these are insects. They are having what? Giant legs. So they are called as arthropod. Ego. Thank you. Okay. Two questions. Not more. First one. Why they are called as bilaterally symmetrical organism? And two actor have so same, same design. design. Same design. design. And name the organism which are drawn on the blackboard. Pa, 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 pa